Hello, hello, Larn here with Larn Elizabeth Fine Art. I have another animal painting tutorial video for you. And this is of a cow I call Moo Moo. This is a really easy, really fun painting tutorial for artists of all levels. And this was inspired by, it started from a collection I was doing called the Nativity Joy Collection, which you can see in my store. And I had to make a third cow and this third cow now goes with a series within a series. So if you already haven't, make sure you subscribe and like this uh, video. I would love to spread more joy and cheer and color around YouTube, especially in the chaotic world that we live in. So I hope you like this tutorial and let us get started. <laughs> All the materials you'll need in the description box below but what you'll need is a glass for your water a paper plate and an 11 by 14 canvas the three brushes you'll need is a one round detail brush one flat medium brush and one flat fat brush now for the paint you'll need raw umber titanium white orange permanent red sky blue raw sienna and yellow all right, now grab a cup of coffee, get comfy, make sure you light a candle or two. This is just for you to relax and have fun. It is not supposed to be perfect, but this is just a time for you to de-stress during the holidays. So what I'm doing now is I'm just using my fat brush and I'm dabbing a little bit of the sky blue mixed in with titanium white. I'm adding some water and I'm just covering the whole canvas with a thin coat of this blue. Okay, now what I'm gonna have you do is, instead of the fat brush, we're using the middle brush, the medium round brush. And we're gonna start just drawing out this cow using some raw umber. And if you just watch me, you can pause and stop, start the video whenever you want but watch me and then get started on your own drawing. But if at any point you feel uncomfortable, by all means use a pencil or a colored pencil or even a marker. I just wouldn't recommend a permanent marker because that's pretty permanent and it's a little hard to cover that up, uh, any mistakes with your acrylic paint. So get started whenever you feel comfortable. Make sure you use the water to help your paint move around a little bit better. And yeah, guys, if you couldn't already tell, I am getting over a cold, very congested right now. So bear with me as um, I narrate this tutorial. If you notice, I'm doing a really rough sketch. This is not, you know, very careful, precise drawing. This is almost like scratching on a, on a canvas. So don't be afraid if this doesn't look exactly like my picture. All our paintings are gonna look very different. So just do this very loosely and let it flow.
I've had it on my heart to make these videos for an extremely long time. I don't really know what it was that got me started, but I have had so many people connect with me with depression and anxiety and really uh, been in dark places like I came from before I started my art business. And so I just pray that this can bless you in a way that's giving you joy, giving you artistic knowledge, but also helping you to relax. So that's my, my definite goals for this video. As we start making the body of the cow, just know that you don't have to make the cow this large. <laughs> I decided to make a really plump looking, festively plump looking cow. So you can definitely make some cow more thin. It is up to you. I just believe that cows are, are cuter, fatter. <laughs> Okay friends, for the next step we're taking raw umber, raw sienna, and orange. We're going to mix that together and then we're going to put, I actually didn't start with the darker tones even though that is usually how I start. I kind of started with uh, a middle tone and you'll see why later. But this is where I'm placing my middle tones and if you just watch me, I'll show you exactly where to put them. If you're a beginner artist or even an advanced artist, comment in the comments below. I'd love to hear your story. I'd love to hear what you love to create to help me make other videos in the future. Introduce yourself. I would just love to meet you. You can also email me at rose at laurenelizabethfineart.com. Love to hear from you.
Okay, so now for a, our darker tones, we're gonna combine raw sienna and raw umber, and then we're gonna place that in the areas that the light uh, doesn't hit very much. So that's the ears, definitely the nostrils, that's underneath the mouth, all the areas where the sun don't shine. Don't forget the eyes and the pupils, and don't be afraid if this doesn't look perfect. The whole wonderful thing about acrylic paint is that we will layer. So all this is the bottom layers, and it'll quickly dry, and then we'll go in with the lighter layers. So be um, calm, enjoy yourself, and do not worry if it's not perfect. The next color we will mix, because as you know, we love color here, I will have you mix orange, yellow, and raw sienna. And we're just adding those on top of the medium tones that we just added. And don't be afraid to place those right on top. We're not covering the painting that, or the dark tones that we just painted. We're just kind of like cornering it just right on top um, and to the side, I guess you could say. Now depending on how thick you're adding the paint, before you get to the next step of this video, I would definitely say give your canvas about five to six minutes to dry. That way we can layer the lighter colors without the darker tones mixing in. Okay, now that your canvas is a little dry, we're gonna add, the next colors we're gonna add is titanium white, orange, and yellow. So mix those together as best you can into a little corner of your paint palette and we're just going to start plugging in that color on the snout around the nose and the nostrils. We're going to uh, put that where the sun is directly hitting. So on its head, on the side of its body and like usual you're just going to watch me where I place that paint. the colors of, of the animals I paint. I love bright, vibrant colors, rich in pigment, 
and full of detail, but with a slight tint of abstract that kind of makes, you know, it look more like a, a painting as opposed to real life. So that just makes things way more interesting, way more fun, cheerful, going for that, that just brighten up your day kind of painting. Okay, so we're almost done with this yellow tone. One little tip that I want to mention, it's something that I actually kept doing wrong, was I was mixing colors but I wouldn't mix enough. So definitely throughout this tutorial, make sure you stir up enough paint so that you're, you're not struggling to mix, remix that same color. And then the unfortunate part is if you don't remix the same color, it can kind of throw these colors off. Right here, I'm taking my detail brush, the skinny brush that will allow me to get this thin line highlight underneath the cow's eye and um, the side cheek. So make sure you put the other brushes in your water, wash them out, and now you can use this detail brush for this detail right here. Alright, so next we're going to mix white and red to make our pink, and that's a lighter pink, so you don't want to add as much red. And then once you've made that pink, you're going to add it to white and raw sienna. Stir those colors together, make sure you make enough, because we're going to be adding that throughout the cow over top the yellow that we just made. If you haven't already noticed, the majority of this painting, we're using the round medium brush. So not the skinny brush, not the fat brush, but the one in between. And that is just gonna help us spread the paint around, still get detail, but not be spending hours because we're using the tiny detail brush. The next colors that I'm mixing right here is orange, raw sienna, and a little bit of red. You don't want to add too much red because red is kind of like black. You add just a tiny bit and it makes an enormous difference. So add a very small amount. And again, we're using our medium brush. I know I'm skipping around here with color. I'm going from dark to light to dark again. But when I was painting this, I didn't realize that I needed something a little bit darker than that pink that I made. And so that's why I added the raw sienna and the red.
Okay, I hope your paintings are coming along and looking wonderful. Right now, I'm just adding what I mixed together was orange and raw sienna. You want to have more raw sienna than orange, but I mixed those two colors together and now I'm just placing them where you see. In this step, I'm starting to make my brush, my brush strokes look like hair. So it's kind of like a wisp. Uh, I'm using um, the tip of my paintbrush. I'm not pushing down too hard and I'm making like a, a, a hair-like structure. All right, we're adding the final details here with our detail brush, and that is just white with a little bit of raw sienna. And we are just adding the final touches, the highlights. This is where you're definitely gonna make the hair-like strands with your paintbrush. It's a lot easier to do with a detail brush. And so you're gonna just do that wherever I show you and then you can even add some more highlights to the, the top of the hair if you see fit. still using my detail brush I'm creating like a brownish gray and to do that I'm taking raw umber sorry raw umber with titanium white and you want to add just a little bit of white because I we want to make this like a dark gray brown you won't need very much of this color because we're just going to add that to a couple places throughout the cow
I'm using this gray to show more, more of the definition of each hair on the ears, um, on the nose, for the eyelashes. So definitely make sure you wash this brush out as much as you can so that it doesn't get thick and sticky with the paint. Um, using water helps us to keep that paintbrush thin. To make these eyelashes look a bit longer and more defined, I am adding straight raw umber in a very thin fashion to lengthen and thin out these eyelashes. If you've ever seen a cow up close, they have really, really beautiful long eyelashes. It's really neat. Now like I did with the, that grayish brown color that I made to highlight the ears and, and on the nose. I'm also going to do the same thing to the top of the hair with yellow and orange. So I mix those two colors together and I'm just adding highlights to the hair on the head and around the face. All right, so the last and final step is just taking raw sienna with raw umber and then just kind of doing fix-ups, I call it. Fix-ups, tone-ups, whatever you want to call it, because this is where I am now going back and touching up the areas that I want to be a little bit darker on top of the lighter areas. Now you can also add more blue pigment like we added the sky blue with a titanium white to make the background color. If you would like to put a second coat, by all means, go for it. I actually did that. I went back and added a second color of blue to the background of the cow. So go, go ahead, go for it, add any final touches that you would like. Congratulations. I know that was a long-winded tutorial, a little tricky but I'm sure it looks absolutely exquisite. You must show me photos of this final painting. I am so looking forward to seeing them. Thank you so much again for joining me. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next animal painting tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Bye.